who knows what we are doing today. I talked to a few people. General, the general theme of today. Pico blocks. Pico blocks. Mm, we're going to do pickle blocks. What's the general theme for today? Yes? Because I told you. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the general theme for today is security. Everything that we're going to be doing today will be based on protecting ourselves from intruders. Eh? Intruders may be coming to steal or they may just be curious or uh, they, they're just people you don't want in your space. So today we'll be dealing with how we can make solutions to uh, prevent uh, interference from these uh, safe intruders. Is, is, uh, is a fun way of introducing children to technology and to make it relevant to them. So today, you know, it's looking at things like security. Uh, and actually, even me, I learned quite a bit by watching the children today. So like, let's say a burglar comes prancing along and he sets off the alarm, everyone will know he's there and well, um, he'll get caught, caught by the police. And These activities pro, uh, provide a child with um, uh, something we call experiential learning. They learn by doing. So they get a forum where they can manipulate these things that they learn in their books. And uh, through this, you never know if they can be able to invent yeah, things that will be helpful to the entire world. I brought a young boy here to experience technology for children. Uh, children are, are, have the great ability to learn and this exposes them to things that they would not normally see in their day-to-day -day life. The use of electronics, the use of radios, the use of calculators to make household items. And it's terrific to pique their curiosity of what can be made. For now we are opening up to 25 kids because we are using the Fab Lab Outreach Team from the University of Nairobi and we try to keep the ratio of the teachers to the students, one is to two, one is to three maximum. So that's for now the numbers that we are working with is 25. Safaricom is, is probably one of Kenya's leading technology companies and if we can start to get children interested in technology, you know, it creates a whole new generation of bright kids. You know, Kenyans are not short of, uh, of tech savvy people, so for us it's, um, it's a connection there and also it's about transforming some of the lives of the children because some of the kids here are from the slum areas and they wouldn't get access to this kind of, this kind of teaching and they, you know, they're learning it in a, in a fun way. My name is Julie, I'm seven years old and I made a metal detector. I am seven years old and today we made a metal detector. And this metal detector can sense anything that's metal, like gold or your spoon or something that you lost that's metal. We're trying to make kids realize what they are capable of doing, right from the word go. And it's important to teach a child to start from humble beginnings because they start to create a passion within themselves. And sometimes you'll find somebody who is telling you, you know, at, probably at this particular age and you're working and they're like, I would have wanted to do IT, but I, I never really got the basics right from the word go. So it's important for a child right from now 
whether it's telecommunication or engineering, because they are gaining more of what is here as compared to maybe a child would be out there playing something else. Basically what we did was we um, connected some wires and foil. So we started off by um, sellotaping foil to the cardboard and we left a gap in between due to these ridges. Uh, okay, so uh, the positive energy would flow around and into here and then there's a gap when it's unpushed so well when it's not pushed so when there's pressure when pressure is applied um, when pressure is applied um, the, the gap is um, removed and it flows around activating the buzzer uh, particularly I've been involved with the kids in tech which happens every Saturday mostly when the kids have closed school this particular season is going on till 28th so what I mainly do is provide uh, the computers which they normally use. For me and uh, my wife, it was just by chance. However, there are those, for those who have heard about it and they haven't done anything about it, those ones, uh, they need to wake up. They need to do something because kids need this exposure. I congratulate the organization, I congratulate the uh, students from the University of Nairobi that in fact have put this on, uh, taking some of their time on a Saturday morning to really pique the curiosity of young children of the technological wonders that await them as they grow up. There's nothing more joyful than seeing my kids loving what they're doing. That, that's, that's it. I am having fun at Fun Kids.